Okay, so in the previous discussions we have, we were able to identify the different parts of communication system. And in order to have an electronic communication, we need to have the information signal, which could either be in the form of a voice, a video, or a binary data, which is sometimes transmitted directly from one point to another over some communication medium so for example we have a voice signal it could either be transmitted by way of wires in our telephone systems also we have some coaxial cables which carry video signals between two points we also have twisted pair cables which uses or which is used in the transmission of binary data from one point to another however we were also able to discuss that transmission vary when we are going to transmit over a long distances. So since we had discussed already that distance is one of the factor that we need to consider when we are transmitting signals. So cables are impractical to use for long distance communication. So in such cases, radio communication is what we are going to use and this is what we are going to discuss so to carry out reliable long distance radio communication we need to transmit it or we need to have a high frequency signal in order for the transmission of our information signal so it is simply impractical to convert the information signal directly to electromagnetic waves. So, medyo hindi amo nakapraktikal nga i-diretsyon na convert ang aton nga information signal o ang aton nga um, high frequency signal o ang signal nga kinanglan natin i-transmit into electromagnetic radiation because we are going to use excessively long antennas kag ang makadevelop sa sang interference along sa aton nga uh, signal nga transmit So, for this reason, it is desirable to translate ang aton inf information signal to a point higher sa aton nga electromagnetic frequency spectrum. So, ang ini nga process nga, nga it medyo i-modify na ito ng atong carrier or ang atong information signal is what we refer to as modulation. So, this is what we are going to focus sa sininga discussion video. It is the process that creates a higher frequency signal containing the information yung gusto natin i-transmit. So, basically, what is modulation? Modulation is defined as the process of modifying a carrier wave, which is our radio wave, systematically by the baseband signal or the information we are trying to transmit. Okay, so what is baseband signal? So, baseband signal refers to the information signal we, are we will be transmitting. This also refers in some books as the modulating signal or the original information so modulation can also be defined in the following definitions we have mixing of low frequency signals with higher frequency signals process by which some characteristic of the high frequency sine wave is carried in accordance with the instantaneous value of the signal imposition of information in a given signal and modification of one signal by another signal Okay, by the last definition, we have modification or we are going to modify the characteristic of one signal in accordance with some characteristic of another signal. So this is, we have the modulating signal and we have the carrier or modulated wave. So we are going to discuss that later on. So types of modulation, we need to know that first we have according to the carrier used. So we have continuous wave and pulse wave. So it is represented in the figure here below. So continuous wave, it is where the carrier is a sinusoid. For the pulse, so represented by pulse or the train of pulses, or we have discrete signals here. And now there is according to the method used. So we have two types of modulation classification here. So we have analog and we have digital. In terms of analog, we are going to have mod we're in modulated parameters is made proportional to the modulating signal. So we have 
this one as our example. And for the digital modulation, we change the form of a given signal. So for this uh, principles of communication subject, the focus is on the analog modulation. Digital modulation will be properly discussed in one of your communication subjects later on. Okay, so I enumerate here the reasons for modulation and it includes first, reduce the antenna length. So at, at, as what I have said a while ago, so if matransmit kita sang, sang aton nga information signal directly in tools sa aton nga communication system, in order na aton nga mapick up ang inang information signal kung i-direct siya, siya convert into electromagnetic frequency, so, ang matabo, we will be having a medyo kinangla naton sa longer length of, nga sa antenna. So, in order to reduce this, kinangla naton sa modulation. Also, we need to reduce the noise and interference of your um, nga ara ng mga present sa atin nga um, modulation. Also, we have to discuss this later on by presenting it here now. This is for your frequency assignment. And for the reason of multiplexing, which will be discussed in your communication three. So we have, this is also one of the consideration. And to overcome also some of the limitations of the equipment we are going to use for modulation, we need to perform modulation. Okay, first type of modulation is the amplitude modulation. We also have angle modulation, which is classified into two. Um, we have frequency modulation and we have phase modulation. Okay, so if we will be talking about the representation of types of modulation, we are having a representation through their names so it could either have you could either have three letters or three symbols representation where in first symbol naton will be based on seeing a table so you will have you could either have n a h r j b c f the g so where in this is considering kung anong type of modulation sa atong main carrier so, for example, our main carrier is a um, frequency modulation. So, F is the symbol. For your double sideband, for example, we have A. So, that is consideration sa first natin nga symbol. So, for the second symbol, okay, so the, this is the continuation sa first symbol natin. We have adding nga mga symbols or ending nga mga letters. So, representing sa sining nga mga property of your main carrier. Okay, for the second symbol, we have either letter or either number sha or letter X. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, 9. So representing sang either wala siya modulating signal, digital kid carrier, digital kid or kid uh, tone. We have analog, multi channel digital, and combination, and so on. So for the third symbol, this is for the type of information to be transmitted. So kung ano siyang type of information. So we have sa amo sininga nga presentation. So, we have amo nga mga letters and uh, kalabanan, we have tatlo lang kasimbol ang ginagamit. But for some, gagamit sila sa um, fourth symbol and we also have fifth nga symbol for the types of multiplexing. So, for example, you have a 3E nga symbol. So, A3E. So, let's start with letter A. Ano yung letter A? First letter both side then three natin is your analog uh, analog ang atin yung signals or modulating natin or modulating natin yung signal is an analog signal and the third natin yung symbol is e that is used for telephony inclu including some sound broadcasting so amo lang muna siya kinanglan mo lang i-determine base sa yung mga uh, letters that is sa atin table so that's it para sa representation of your uh, modulation and discussion. So this is it para sa atin introduction for your amplitude modulation yeah? um, class. Eh?
So, watch out for another video wherein we are going to discuss completely the ideas and concept for analog.